In this tutorial, we'll take a more detailed look at the Red Cine Library. The library is accessed by pressing the Library button in the player. This takes us into the main library interface where each slot represents one shot within our timeline. When we hover the cursor over a shot, we can see information about that shot listed down below. We can also choose whether the thumbnail will have the existing grade shown on it or not. From the library, we can load new shots in the same way we load them in the player, except we have the ability to place them above or below existing shots, so we can quickly rearrange the order of shots, remove slots from the timeline, or add new slots in. This allows us to quickly change the order of shots for playback. We can also multi-select shots and either copy them or trash them. Other displays allow us to show different bits of information below each slot, such as time code, source time code, or event number, as well as displaying time code information on the thumbnails themselves. To return to the player, press the play button in the middle or the player button on the left side of the interface.